Hey guys, it's Megan from Grim Planner and I am here with, of course, another plan with me for you guys. And this is for the week of June 20th, uh, June? Sure shit not, it is freaking cold outside. January 20th through January 26th. Um, I am using this kit from Let's Plan It. And hold on, I don't remember the name. Crystal is the name of this kit. Um, so I went ahead the second week now, pulling stickers throughout the week just to hopefully get through this rather quickly. And then I pulled some extra deco type stuff and then here's the kit that I'm going to be using. So hopefully um, this we can get through this fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before I see this up, it is eight o'clock and I am freezing. So I've got a cup of, it's decaf coffee with a little bit of hot cocoa sprinkled inside of it. So it's like a mocha. And I don't tend to like mochas because I don't like the chocolate syrup, but I'm liking the chocolate, like, like a chocolate powder, chocolate, hot chocolate powder mix to make it good. So I will be sipping on that as I go through this. All right. I was like, wait a minute. Did I actually remember to speed this up or do I need to go back and do it? You guys, this time of year is just killing me. I used to love winter. I used to be a very big winter person. Um, but I think it's like part of it is the sun doesn't come up until so much later in the morning that it's hard for me to get out of bed. Um, and I've been wanting to like make this habit of getting up at like eight, excuse me, getting up at like eight. Um, but I just really struggle and I, I don't know that it helps that my husband sleeps later than I do. Um, and I should appreciate having the house kind of to myself for like the first hour or so of the day. Um, but it's just hard. You know, I was thinking to myself, I need to start like sleeping with my curtains opened a bit so that the natural light can work in. And I very specifically did not buy blackout curtains for our bedroom because I don't want us to be feeling like it's the middle of the night at 10 o'clock in the morning like I want us to be able to get up more with the sun but we had white curtains and my husband wanted something darker than that um and it's just like it's so hard so I did get these like navy they're not completely opaque um they do allow some light in just not I think enough I liked the white curtains I think that was the best but it's so funny because when you start searching for curtains, if you if they're not like completely like sheer, then they're blackout. It's hard to find just like normal curtains at the very least online when I was on Amazon. Um, yeah, to just find some like normal kind of curtains that aren't sheer or blackout. And I've got to be one of the few people I feel like in the world that's like, I don't want blackout curtains. I just don't. Um Anyway, I digress. So, but yeah, it's just been, it's been a struggle. I had like on my habit tracker to get up at like 8.30 last week and that just really did not happen. Um, on a different note, I've been working on my witchcraft studies and I bought this blackout uh, grid notebook for um, I was going to actually use it for work but as of right now and things are kind of difficult um, with our business as of right now um, because it's not getting we're not getting the money that we wanted out of it and and it's like advertising and we dropped our advertising rates so stinking low but as of right now my husband and I are even talking about just saying hey forget it um, it's just going to be a, back to like a hobby or a passion project. And in which case he's going to let me 
off my leash a bit to be uh, go negative if I need to go negative about where we live. Um, so that notebook is now kind of sitting there. So I decided to turn it into a um, like a journal of sorts for my studies of witchcraft. I have a um, I have a crystals inventory. I have two crystals now. I picked up one for myself and then I got one as a gift. I don't know if I mentioned this in a different um, plan with me. And this week I kind of set up my little altar. The only thing I'm missing is something that represents air for my elements, but I'll get I'll figure that out when I can. So yeah, I took that notebook and so like so you see there on Tuesday that journaling time is um, I talked about like a meditation I had done and then I think I'm going to grab a different notebook and now like I'm trying to do a like daily tarot card pull to determine like what to expect for my day and as I'm learning the cards keeping track of those in a notebook um, it's really funny because I pulled some cards and I am totally new to this so this is I have no idea what's considered right and wrong um, but I pulled a card because my husband's been coughing really bad. He's had a really bad persistent cough. And so I was like, pulled a card kind of wondering about his health. And the first card I pulled was, I think the ace of elixirs, which if I'm not mistaken in the normal suit is cups. And that focuses more on like love and relationships. And I'm like, well, that really doesn't mean anything to me so then I pulled I shuffled and pulled again and some will say don't do that like you got the first card don't second guess it don't question it just whatever but I did it so um and the second time I got the three of blades or swords which in my deck is like which has a lot to do with like grief and death and stuff like that and I'm just like um how literal am I supposed to take these cards <laughs> Like, I don't understand it. Um, I asked a friend, and she was like, you know, it's really just there might be some stuff you need to talk about in your relationship, um, which as of right now, I can't think of anything. My husband and I are really big communicators as it is. Um, so, yeah, as of right now, he's still alive, so I'm going to go with we just needed to discuss something, and when it comes up, it comes up. Um, yeah, part of the thing that makes this hard though with work is that I might actually need to find a job <laughs> now. Um, I don't have to work, but I feel like I need something that keeps me kind of active and it's really tricky to do that. Um, so I'm not rushing out immediately to find a job. I'm going to kind of keep my eyes open and maybe be a little bit picky about what I do next I don't know that I want to go back into banking I could go work at the library when the position is opened um, which I've considered but I I'm more curious if the local one of the local uh, parties political parties um, in town like if they ever have job openings of like or like secretary or receptionist kind of deal because I would be interested I think in doing that as a way to get more politically involved um, in fact, as I'm saying this, I'm going to go check my email because I reached out to this political party. I had a question for them, and I have not heard back from them yet. So hopefully I will hear back from them soon. Um, but there's been a lot of drama in my town right now. And I had said to my husband about our blog, I guess is the best way to explain it, that you know what, I think we just go balls to the wall, go nuclear, set the shit on fire, and then I'm like, it either completely burns down to the ground, in which case it can be really cleansing for that to happen, or, um, oh, hold on one second. I'm going to take this. Can I call you back in a few minutes? Okay. Are you like on your way to work? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'll call you back. Okay, bye. 
that was my friend calling. She's on her way to work. And I literally just answered that. And I'm not editing it out because it's too much work. Um, so yeah, I said either we can burn it down and it's like, compl- like we just burn it down and that's it. It's just ashes and we're calling it good. Or it can come back as something even better. It can be its little phoenix self rising from the ashes. And, you know, we might get something really good out of it. So we did post one. There was an organization that was uh, given an award that we really don't agree with um, because they have done some not great things in our community. Um, Very political, very drama based. It's just been insane and people are pissed. It was given to them by the chamber and we are members of the chamber. Well, we were. We weren't planning on re-upping our chamber membership, or then we talked about just doing, like, a cheaper, like, social membership, but now I don't think we're going to do it, and that's kind of, like, our stand against what they did um, and the decision that they made in giving out that um, award. So, yeah, I, yeah, so we put out a post saying this would not have been our business of the year. We do not agree with this. We wanted to put it more on the company versus the chamber because we really feel like most people wouldn't have voted for them and that it was like the board of directors of the chamber that made that decision, in which case that just seems like money was paid out. Like not to the individuals, but maybe to the chamber. They're like, here, we're going to give you this really big donation as a way to not have a bad or as a way to win this. And, you know, conspiracy theories can abound, but still that's just kind of how we feel about it. I just took a quick break to call my friend and let her know that, well, because she called me, so I called her back. She is trying to figure out what she's going to do about her moving because she currently lives in Florida and they've been wanting to move to or uh, Colorado after they get married. But as of right now, it's all up in the air, I guess. Anyway, I think I'd been talking about all the drama that's happening in my town. Um, But we did this article, like I was saying, I think. (laughs) We did this article about um, the, about like how we didn't agree with the decision for who they picked for business of the year. And therefore, um, you know, it's kind of our like solidifying the fact that we are definitely not going to re-up our chamber membership. And, um, it was surprising the good, like we got pretty good, um, responses from people. People can appreciate us kind of calling that out. Um, and we're not like the first like outlet to do so. I mean, some of the local news stations have really called it out thinking that's insane that they would, um, give that award to a company that has kind of put this area through hell recently. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens when I was talking to my friend. So she lives in Orlando and she is going to Colorado for, um, a hemp expo, I think. And I was like, oh, well, my friends and I were wanting to go to a Harry Potter world. I have the wizarding world of Harry. I don't know what it's called down there. I just know where it's at. Um, so maybe we could stay at your place since you guys are going to be out of town and then it won't feel so cramped. And she's like, yeah, that's totally fine. So now I'm trying to see if my girlfriends and I want to do that. I have never been. Um, I was supposed to go last January for my birthday. And we went to Florida. We just didn't end up actually going to Harry Potter World, um, which I'm still bitter about. But whatever. I'm over it. But I'm not. Um, I also found out this week, like the end of this week that I am planning here, that Um, My husband has a conference in Vegas to go to, and I've never been to Vegas. Um, So I'm going to go with him for this business trip, and I am so excited. It's interesting because I don't have, like, this massive urge to go to Vegas. Like, I don't know that I would plan a vacation there. It's just not my scene. But if my husband has a work thing there, I'm in. So... Um, we're kind of working out the details for that right now. And that's at the end of February. 
So I've got to figure out a kit for that because I'm pretty certain it was going to be like a winter kit. So we'll see what I can find. Um, I actually think I have one in mind now that I'm thinking about it. I think I have a Cactus Paper & Co. that would kind of work, being that it's in the desert. Desert? Desert. Um, yeah. On Friday, as you guys can see here, um, I spent the day with my nephew, Grayson. Um, he is my first blood relation nephew. I was trying to figure out how to say this earlier. Um, my brother's wife has three kids from her first marriage, and so they have been my nieces and nephews. My niece and nephews, um, they got married in 2013, so it was like seven years, almost eight Yeah, almost eight years. Um, and even before that, we were spending time with them. So I've known them for a good long while. And um, But my mom and I were supposed to hang out with Grayson because she used to take him by herself a lot. But now that he's in school full time, it's been harder for her to do so. So she's like, do you want to hang out with us? And I was like, yeah. But then she was sick, so I went and picked him up myself. Which I used to do before, but I just wouldn't take him any. Like, I wouldn't take him far. We went, one day I picked him up. We went to McDonald's, and then we went to the mall to play in the um, kids section at the mall. And then I took him over to Cabela's. It was really hot out. And I was like, part of me thought we could go to the zoo. But it was so stinking hot. And I'm like, I mean, it's kind of a zoo. They have a bunch of, like, stuffed animals. Like, you know, taxidermied animals. So let's just go there. And... <laughs> <laughs> he was actually really scared of it. Like, all these animals, like, there was, like, a cougar up on Cabela's, like, up above us, and he didn't want to walk underneath of it. He really liked the fish tank, though. So it was nice just to spend the day with him. Went to the Children's Muse Museum, which I, being that I don't have kids myself, it's very terrifying for me to be responsible for this little person. Um, but... He was so good. We had such a good time. And then we were headed back home. And he was like, I had such a good day with you today. And I'm just like, oh, I'm sobbing. I love him so much. He is going to be six this week. So they're growing up too fast. I have never noticed my mortality more than when I had nieces and like when I got nieces and nephews, like watching them grow up. And I'm just like, I don't have time in my life anymore. Um, it's all just running away too fast. So it's just, it's hard for me to deal with. Um, I wasn't actually going to film yesterday cause I was not feeling it, but then at like, it was like seven 30 and I thought it was like 10 30 and I was like, well, I guess I've got time and I don't want to sit on the couch anymore. I spent the weekend pretty much binging Sabrina, the new season of Sabrina. Um, and I finished it in like two days. So Yeah. I think that's really all I have for you guys. This is going to go live here shortly. I started reading, um, I started the podcast DC Sniper this week. It's a 15 episode podcast. And I think there's like five episodes up right now. Um, and then I started reading Green River Running Red, which is about the Green River Killer in Washington, written by Ann Rule. Um, my life is just an endless flow of true crime stuff, like. <laughs> And then it's like Sabrina, which is, you know, a little bit of a, a little scary on the scary side of things and whatnot. Not for me. I mean, I'm not, but I've heard other people say they think it's scarier than they thought it would be. So, yeah. And then, of course, my fucking hooray for the weekend was hanging out with my handsome nephew. And then I also got to see my sister on Saturday. We went to dinner. So this is going to switch over to live. I will talk to you guys in just a moment. All right, that is it for the week. This might be record time for doing a spread. Um, I think not doing as many boxes has made a big impact on that. Um, the only flip side to that is that I feel like I have a lot of excess stickers and I'm not really big on using them. Like I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, so I'll have to figure that out later. Um, but yeah, this was, this is a very pretty week. Um, I'm loving all the silver. Um, these I think are from the Pretty Pink Co. I want to say. And then I've got this quote here. And this one is from um, Tilly Journals. And it's 
There's No Limit to What We as Women Can Accomplish from Michelle Obama. So loving that. And I felt like it just kind of worked for this week. So that is all I have for you guys. Um, if you want to see all the shops that I've included, I will have those, of course, below. And also, I keep always forgetting to mention this at the end of my videos, but please take some time to subscribe to this channel and head over to my Instagram, Grim Planner, um, to see like up close shots and whatnot of this spread, plus many other things. All right, I hope you guys all have an awesome last week of January, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.